Every year, over 1,000 student athletes embark upon a journey of ending the season atop the podium at nationals. Tireless hours are spent in the weight room, preparing for exams, and rolling on the practice mats before any competition even begins. Flurries of dual meets, day-long tournaments, and grueling regionals leave only the select few who can call themselves national qualifiers. Over the 45-year history of the national tournament, TCNJ is one of two programs to have produced a national qualifier in every season. Coach Eisenhower's leadership, dedication, and passion ensured an unparalleled level of consistency and success. Being a national qualifier is not nearly enough for these athletes. Their hope is that it is just a stepping stone to future accomplishments. There's a reason why coming up one win short of an All-American honor is also known as losing in the blood round. But for those who survive, their names are written in the history books forever. The Lions added at least one name to that list totaling 132 honors across ICE's 35 years leading the program. At the end of each year, only one person stands above the rest as an individual champion. The extra mile, the final rep, and moments of sheer determination and desire have shown willingness to persevere through adversities. 20 times Eisenhower's wrestlers finished on top of that podium. In the history of Division III wrestling, only 10 programs have claimed a title in the past four decades. In 1979, Eisenhower's squad became the first in the history of Trenton State College to earn the distinction of NCAA champions. Little did anyone know, in that moment, a dynasty had been formed. Eisenhower's team would go on to win a total of five national championships. Eisenhower's accomplishments match up with any coach. His 535 dual wins are the fourth most in NCAA history. He was named National Coach of the Year twice by his peers following the 1979 and 87 seasons. In addition, he was 14-time Metropolitan Conference Coach of the Year. In 1982, Eisenhower became the only D3 coach to pilot the elite athletes in the prestigious East-West All-Star Meet. In 1999, he was inducted into the National Wrestling Coaches Association Hall of Fame. From stepping foot on campus in 1976 until 2011, the legacy that Coach David Eisenhower has left is one that will be hard to replicate. He not only touched the lives of students, but also the staff and colleagues that had an immense amount of respect for him both on the wrestling mat and in the administrative world, thus shaping the journey of all those he came into contact with and leaving an everlasting influence.